Hey guys, let's talk about how you can have your security cameras working with the Google Chromecast or Google TV. As you can see, I have a Tapo camera, another one here, a Wise Cam, and other different cameras in my network. And the idea is to have them working here with my Google Chromecast or Google TV, okay? And I'm not going to use a direct integration. I'm going to show the camera working with an app, an application, okay? So let me just grab here the control. And I'm gonna show you that I want to come here to home and use a specific app. So I come here to apps and I go to search for the app and here just search for this one, the tiny can monitor. Okay, so just look for this one, install this one and you can use as your app to show your camera. So basically I'm installing it here. So it's pending, it's going to install. And after the installation, I can just set up those different cameras. So this tiny cam monitor pro works with any type of camera, wise camera, Arlo, and you name it, a lot of cameras, it works pretty fine, okay? So I just open it up. And here I have the uh, welcome screen. I just keep going here and finish this. And now I'm gonna look for cameras. You see here is the main menu, my main menu. And I just come here and you see that I have the tiny can monitor pro for Google Play. It's working back there. And I can just come here and scan my network. So it's looking for the cameras available. And you see that it found this camera here, the Tapo C110W, the sub the Tapo C120, and another camera here in a Tapo C216, so three Tapo cameras, for example, and they're available for the, the application here, okay? But just before doing that, let me just um, show you here that I need to have the Tapo cameras working here. Let's say, for example, we have back there uh, the Tapo C510W, that's the one. So here, I need to come to the camera and to the advanced settings here. There we go, advanced settings. And here I need to enable this camera account. It's a local account for the camera. It's not a regular account that you have with the top, right? Not the cloud account, but a local account. I just come here, enable the account, and then I can just create a username and a password. Okay, I already have it here and I come back and also and I check the network settings to make sure that I have the cameras and my Google Chromecast in the same network, basically connecting to the same Wi-Fi, okay? So here I have the IP. And if I come back a little bit more, I see here the network connection. Okay, make, make sure you have your Google Chromecast using the same network connection, okay? So here I'm good to go. As long as I have the camera working here, I'm fine. That's why you can find there because I have the account enabled there and also they are in the same network. Then I just select the camera that I want. Let's say I want that one. I don't want this one right now. Neither this one or this one, only the 510, C510W, okay? Then I just come here to add the camera. It's edit. And now I need to come back here to this menu and go to the main screen here on manage cameras. From here, I can just come to these three dots and manage the camera. I can change the name if I want to and leave everything else the way it is. So it's pulling all the information for me. I don't need to do anything here other than change the username and password that I created there on the local account in the camera. It's pretty simple, huh? So I just need to come here and insert the name that I have there for the username, which I put put there, Tapo Admin. There we go. Whoops, made a mistake here. Let me just correct this one. There we go. So insert the username and then hit OK and then the password. 
for the password, I just put it there. One, two, three, four, five, six, as an example. So I have it working. Hit OK. And I should be good to go. And I come back here, you see the status is OK. I come back here to the main screen, manage and live view. Oh, it's asking the pass username and password again. Let me just retype here. Not sure what I did wrong, but if it asks for the password, you just need to username and password, just need to t input here again. Tap admin and hit enter here. Oh, that's why it's like uh, doing something here. I need to hit the OK button back there. Let me just come back here and hit the OK button. Okay, let's wait for it to connect and there we go, it's working, okay? So pretty simple as you can see, I can just add any camera. Let me just show you again. Now, when I come back here, oops, I'm just open it again, back to the top. I can scan the network again, it's already there. And I see that I have this C216, for example. Let me just add this one and add it here again. Before doing that, let me just come back here to my app and see this camera available. You see that I have here, top of 216. One more time, I just come here to settings and then advanced settings. Here, camera account. You see that I have the account information for this one. And here is the username, Tapo C216. Let me just change this to make something easier to type back there. So Tapo, lowercase for everything, Tapo, admin as well. It doesn't matter because it's a different camera and the password will be the same. Oh, it's asking me to verify. Well, it's asking me to verify here because I already have an account. I suppose to insert the password that I have before, or I need to uh, exclude this account. Okay, just to make uh, things clear, I had an account before, so I'm trying to modify it. That's why it's asking me to use the same password. You see, invalid password here. It's just verification. Correct password. Six, verify the account. I can't delete the account if I want to. Then I start fresh, okay? See here, when you come for the first time here, you're gonna see camera account. Then we enable, you're gonna have this information here about your camera account. You're gonna create, understand and agree. And now I'm gonna create a new account. Remember that's a local account, okay? So tapo add me. Then the password one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's make sure that's correct. Create. Okay, then I have it. And back here, network, network settings. I have the IP address. Just to take a look here that I have the same network that I have my device connected to. So I'm good to go here. The camera is working back there. It's a PT, PT camera, so you can even control it. Then I'm good to go, okay? I'll just come back here to the TV and add the 216. There we go. And then I come back here to the top and I manage the cameras again. And I have the 216 here, go to the three dots, edit, and then camera name. I will leave it like this and I'm gonna change this to username and password here, okay? Up here again, Tapo. Hope I get right this time. So Tapo, add me. There we go. Oops. Okay. Then I hit this button here back, so I'd be able to come here to. Okay. There we go. And then I go to the password. One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. Hit this button here. Then I go to OK. There we go. It should be working now. The status is OK. I can even come here and take a look at the communication with the camera. You see that's trying to communicate with the camera and finds the stream and everything else. And it looks like it's working, OK? Resolution, you see? Then you just come back here to the top. One more time here. And live view. There we go. Two cameras working. They're in the same location. That's why they look similar. And I can get into the camera. And here I can even do this. You see, this is the Tapo C510W. You have PTZ control for this camera. You can come here and get to this control here. Okay. So it's basically controlling the camera, just using my remote control here. Pretty good, huh? Then I come back and just select the other camera here. If I need it, I can select from here. That one, I also have the option for remote control. So I just come here to the PTZ. I can also control this camera. That's the Tapo C216. So it's working pretty fine, okay? So you see, it's pretty easy to work with this. I just have here the Google Chromecast remote control and I have the Chromecast back there on the TV or a monitor. In this case, I'm just using a monitor to show how it works. Super simple. And then I have my cameras, Tapo cameras. I can also use Wise camera, Arlo, um, Blink cameras, whatever. The difference here is that uh, with uh, Tapo cameras, for example, and other cameras, I can't just need to create a local account to make uh, to be able to do this. And with the Wise Cam, for example, Arlo, I can just use uh, the cloud account and lo just log in with the cloud account. Okay, so basically, I don't depend on a cloud for this one. And this one, I really depend on logging with an account. But it works anyway because there's a lot of options for this tiny Cam Pro. So again. I'll leave the link here in the description for the cameras and also just make sure that you get uh, the correct software. Okay, this is the Tiny Cam Pro. Just show one more time here. This is the Tiny Cam Monitor Pro. Okay, so I hope this helps. Please leave your comments here. Does it work for you or it doesn't? And subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.